Hey guys, it's Sigour and here. Got some more YouTube advice for my fellow content creators out there. And today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be talking about diminishing returns on YouTube and why uploading more isn't necessarily a good thing. Now, of all good things in life, I learned this one from Total Biscuit once again. He's certainly not an unfamiliar person to the channel. You guys probably heard me mention him many times before. He's a guy that I really, really do look up to. And uh, today, like many other things in this YouTube advice series, is something else that he mentioned in a co-optional podcast episode sometime. Can't remember exactly which one, but I'm going to be elaborating on that today. I bring it to you guys, my own audience. Now, to put this diminishing returns thing into perspective for you guys, let's say you and I are YouTubers. We upload very similar content. And and we have a very similar sized fan bases. We both have quite a lot of active subscribers. I upload one video every day and you now start uploading four videos every day. Yes, you'll probably get more views than me, but you will not get four times as many views as me because there is a drop off point there because not everybody has enough time to watch four videos in just one day. Like people have very limited free time and they don't have all day to watch just your videos. So ultimately, by uploading four videos a day, you're wasting your time because you're putting in more work than me, yet you're getting not less views than me overall, but you are getting less views compared to each video. So in most cases, it makes a lot more sense to just spread out your uploads, obviously depending on the length of your content. If you make really long content, let's say 30 minute long Let's Plays, an hour long podcast, stuff like that, people are certainly not going to have enough time in the day to watch four of those bloody things. So it makes more sense to spread it out, guys. Don't be afraid to kind of schedule your content. If you happen to have extra time in a particular day and you happen to make an extra video, you don't necessarily have to put it out on the same day, especially if, you, once again, you already upload really long content. You can always schedule it for another day. That's perfectly fine. I do that quite a lot myself. So just remember, guys, it's always quality over quantity. So if you are able to make four videos a day, maybe... You're not putting as much effort in as you possibly could be and therefore maybe you want to scale that back a bit and maybe just focus on one or two videos a day and make sure you're putting as much effort in as you possibly can. Take that time that it takes to make those four videos and instead put it into just making two videos and ultimately your videos will hopefully be better off for that. Now to give you guys an example, let's take a look at IGN's main YouTube channel. I'm sure you heard of these guys. Now I'm not picking on them even though... Let's be real, I'm probably not going to do too much damage to them. Come on, I've got a thousand subscribers. they got seven million. But you know, guys, I, I don't want to offend them, okay? But anyway, yeah, they're, they're the biggest example I could find. So that's why I'm using them for this. So IGN, some of their videos are getting less than 5,000 views. And this isn't just videos that have been uploaded, you know, in a few hours. This is videos that have been up for a couple of weeks. And they have almost seven million subscribers. Some of my videos get more than 5,000 views, for God's sake, and I have 1,000 subscribers. Even some of their more popular stuff is only getting 50,000 to 100,000 views, which sounds like a lot, but they, once again, they have 7 million subscribers, and they're only getting that kind of amount of views. Now, from the time of me recording this, in the last 24 hours, IGN has uploaded 15 videos. 15! No wonder some of their videos are getting 5,000 views or less. Is because they're spreading their audience so thin across all these videos. Not everybody has time to watch fucking 15 videos in a day. That is ridiculous. Now, that, that may not be the only reason some of their videos are getting very low view counts compared to their subscriber count. It could be due to stuff like inactive subscribers and all that kind of stuff. However, I definitely think uploading 15 videos a day plays a part in that. Now, obviously, IGN isn't only just one person. It's a whole company. There's a lot of different people working on lots of different videos, and that's why they're able to produce that many every single day. But if you do YouTube on your own and you're able to produce that many videos, bloody hell, you need to slow down a bit and definitely put a bit more quality into your work because no one has fucking time to make 15 videos a day by themselves. Now, seeing as I've already mentioned him right at the start of this video, and just to give you guys some kind of comparison there, let's take a look at Total Biscuits channel, who has just over 2 million subscribers, which means IGN has 3.5 times more subscribers than Total Biscuit does. The lowest Total Biscuit kind of gets is around 100,000 views at the moment, and his more popular stuff is getting around half a million. And yet, he's a far smaller channel compared to IGN. So, just to kind of compare that to you guys, 
That is why he only makes one or two videos a day on average. And to be fair, they're pretty fucking long videos, like usually 30 minutes upwards. But he's getting far more views because he's not spreading his audience so thin across all these different types of content. Now, once again, guys, it all depends on the type of content. Obviously, you make really kind of short videos, five minutes or less, I'd say. Then you could probably get away with making more content than someone that makes 30 minute long let's plays. However, be careful because... If you upload too much, these diminishing returns will kick in and you will start getting less views the more you upload pretty much because, people, like I said, the main reason for that is because there's only 24 hours in a day. People have other stuff to do. They don't have all day to just watch your YouTube videos. So just keep that in mind. So one way to do it, guys, is just to upload as frequently as you can. Don't push yourself ridiculously hard trying to get more than one video up every single day or really trying to get one video up every day if you don't have that much free time. Don't worry about it all that much. Just upload as frequently as you can and that will probably be fine. And if you can make more than two videos a day, then spread it out, okay? Just schedule the content. There's a scheduling feature on YouTube for a reason. I use that thing all the time. It is really handy. Or if you don't have the scheduling feature, you can always just make your video private and then make it go live, change it to public when you actually want it to go live. So guys, the kind of final message for this video, just summarizing everything, is don't force yourself to make a ridiculous amount of videos. Don't push yourself that hard. If anything, take that additional time you have and put it into the few videos that you only need to make for that day, rather than trying to get out, let's say, 15 videos a day. Don't, e don't even try that by yourself. Because ultimately, you're going to put all that extra work in and not get much back in return. You're far better off just sticking to a reasonable amount of videos. One every day, two a day at most, really. If you could do three a day, fair play. But that's kind of pushing it a little bit. Once again, it all depends on the type of content. But that is down to you guys to figure out for yourselves, guys. So remember, quality over quantity. Don't upload too goddamn much, all right? You can schedule it out. That is fine to do so. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully that kind of taught you something about diminishing returns on YouTube. If you have found this interesting, press that like button and of course subscribe for more content from myself. I do YouTube advice videos every single week trying to help my fellow content creators out there out. And of course, I make daily gaming content as well. So feel free to check out and who knows, you may enjoy your stay. Thanks for watching as always, guys. I'll see you guys next time.